So if you look here, right, your, your, your kernel, if you look here, uh, if, if I can basically, yeah, if I can just explain the intuition behind like a kernel. So in a, in a computer, right, you have the processor. And that's a thing, as we all know, that's doing the calculations. But how you go from writing some text on the, on the screen to going to the computer actually telling you what's going, like to actually run the code, you, there's something between that. And that's called a kernel, right? So the stuff between that is you have an IDE, which is a, which is a thing, an integrated development environment. That's a thing that you're typing. That's like Jupyter. That's like the text editor. You know, like you have Word where you're writing an essay, and there's words. This is the same thing. It's just now you're telling the computer what to do, right? Uh, so from here, it goes from here. Then it gets sent to, basically, the kernel does some magic. <laughs> and then the magic, it gets basically compiled. It gets compiled, and then that gets sent to the, the computer, called like machine code. And then that's, then it runs it, and then it returns it. And then it goes back to the kernel, and the kernel's doing all the work. Okay. I think that's why they call it a kernel, because you know like kernels are... <laughs> But it's just a thing between the stuff you're typing and the thing between the processor. Makes sense. Okay, so okay, so if, if we okay, when it says restart and clear out, right? What that means is so when we run the thing, when you run NPR, so say okay, just say I say x equal to ten. I say x equal to ten. Let's give you an example. When I say x equal to ten and I say print x say so print x and I run that, you're going to get 10, right? Cool. Now if I say print x in this cell, I have to say print x plus 2, and I run it, it's going to give me 12, right? Simple. So when I uh, when I go to kernel, and I say restart and run all, and it says, you are, are you sure you want to restart the current kernel and re-execute the whole notebook? All variables and outputs will be lost. What they mean by that is the value like, let, let, let's, let's just restart and run all, and I'll show you. So, when I come here, if, if I run x plus 2 now, and I run it, okay, it works. I don't know why. Okay, well, it shouldn't work. It shouldn't work. <laughs> restart and run all. Restart and clear out. It shouldn't work, because usually the value of x, so that's saved into its memory. Right? This x you see here, x equals to 10, this gets saved into Python's memory. So when you call it again and you say print x plus 2, it's like, okay, x is 10, it's in its memory, and then it's going to add 2 to it. All right, so when you restart and run, or you don't have to. Basically, you don't have to do restart and run. It's just if you've got any bugs, if it's not running, or if you see if you see here, right, if you see this, like you'll see sometimes when it runs, if I run this, just look quickly. I think it will go away quite quick. If I run this, did you see there was like a... a yeah, you see, x is not defined. You see now. So when you, when, when you restart and run all from the kernel, it means that it doesn't know what x is because you haven't ran, it hasn't been saved into its memory. So when you just write that down, restart and run all in the kernel, or restart and, restart and clear out, restart and clear out means you're removing all the objects from memory. Okay, you're removing objects from memory. And I said I'm going to talk about objects now to make more sense. But an, an object is basically just like the number or the integer or the... It's just like the thing, the value. It's like the value of the, like the, the name that's referenced. The name that is referenced to the value. So basically, the 10 here in this case is the value and this is the name. Right? Or this is the object and this is the, the name. Right? So if you if you restart on all the name the, the value of that's stored in the name gets lost. So that's why it gave us an error. So you need to run it again and you run it and then you'll see it works. Okay. 